Earth Day is Monday, and this week we've been showing you the dedication, creativity, and heart of people trying to protect life on Earth. As average temperatures get warmer, one scientist wants to learn what it could mean for our forests around the world. National environmental correspondent David Schechter shows us how she's going to great lengths to find out. A hot spot for research. That's one way to think of this plot of Puerto Rican forest strung with high voltage lines. Hi, I'm Tana. I'm David. Dr. Tana Wood is a research ecologist with the U.S. Forest Service who studies how tropical forests will respond to climate change. How can we give this window into a future warmer world hundreds of years into the future? Those black panels are electric heaters running 24-7, warming up this plot of the jungle by 7 degrees Fahrenheit. She says worst case scenario, that's how much warmer it could be on Earth by the end of the century if we keep emitting heat trapping carbon from our cars, factories and power plants. This experiment was interrupted by Hurricane Maria in 2017. And ever since, the plants in the heated section have struggled to recover. Dead leaves, stunted growth. This looks totally different. We have begun to notice that the forest has become shorter and shorter as time has gone on. And so you can visibly see that the forest is experiencing stress under these conditions. When trees and plants die and decay, they release carbon. Fortunately, healthy trees and soil absorb more carbon than what's being released. But Wood is finding their ability to keep doing that might be in jeopardy. Her team is making hundreds of measurements of the forest, recording the growth of plants, looking underground at the health of the root system, and this device records how much carbon the soil is releasing. So after one year of warming, we saw a major increase in the amount of carbon dioxide that was coming out of these soils. Her experiment is showing us rising temperatures cause forests to release more carbon. More carbon in the atmosphere causes the planet to get warmer and the cycle continues. What happens in these ecosystems has far-reaching consequences for, uh, for the climate as a whole. David Schechter, CBS News, Puerto Rico. And you can watch David's full 30-minute special called Protecting Life on Earth this Saturday night at 7.30 on our streaming channel, CBS News New York.